All right, so welcome back. And today is a uh, short, very short news video. Um, some news have come up. Uh, we have a, another Loney coming in. This is a forward, Emil Forslund. He's captain of Tingsryd AIF in Hockeyallsvenskan. He shoots right. He's a kind of a smaller player, uh, great skater, and uh, have a lot of experience from the SHL level, as you can see here, and also Hockeyallsvenskan, obviously. Um, and he is... Um, Coming in to do the work um, to cover because we have some updates um, coming in yesterday. So, uh, first of all, Matthias Lassen is expected to return uh, from injury tonight to make a comeback tonight. Um, Jakob Galvas is still away, he's still sick. Uh, he has COVID or ammonia or something along those lines. Um, Alan Quine injured himself in practice on, on Monday. Uh, so this yesterday, um, and uh, best case scenario, he's out for a week. Worst case scenario, he's out for several weeks. Um, Valby will be headed to Gothenburg to play for Sweden in the uh, World Junior Championships. Um, so I hope that he will still play tonight before he goes, because uh, he won't start until in about a week. Um, but could be that we lose him already. Um, so to cover for for the injuries and the absences on the forward side, Emil Fosslund will come in, as I just mentioned, and also uh, last but not least, um, Timo Kivihalme is not expected to return until after the international break in February. So we're talking seven eight weeks until then, uh, which is tragic because ever since he got injured. We've scored, we've scored like no points, um, but yeah, and this is coming in from, first of all, it came from uh, here, this thread, um, and now also confirmed by the club themselves, so. Right, that is the news of the day. Um, there is also news from um, uh, from the club that they have signed Badinka on a junior contract because he's reached the uh, threshold of 100 minutes in the SHL. So he's no longer uh, eligible for a junior contract. He's now on a rookie contract with the club and is signed until 2025. So that is good to see. So we have at least one more season with him. Um, and his trajectory is just to the sky right now. He is so good. Um, He's, he's done very well, considering he's only just turned 18, uh, and he is uh, so calm. He's playing like a, a veteran already, uh, and sometimes uh, sometimes he's still, he still shows uh, issues. So what I'm, I'm talking, of course, about Badinka, Dominic Badinka. Um, he's, uh, this is not accurate. He is signed until 2025. Uh, with us, he hasn't scored a point, but he's only negative two. He doesn't take very many penalties, and play what like gameplay wise, he's very, very good. Very, very good. And this is the first season on a men's level because he, I mean, I don't know what this is. Czechia four is that the fourth level of uh in Czech? Um, this is junior league, this is junior league, so. We're talking his debut season. I, I don't, I don't think that scoring points is where the focus should be from the start. Hopefully, he can score a few points. That would be that would be great. But um, doesn't panic on retrievals and was starting to break out under pressure. Hmm, yeah, seems about right. And he has a twin brother as well, Daniel Badinka, who left. I believe he left. No, he's still here. He's still here. Okay, he's still in the junior team though, but he's he's also in the club. He's a forward, so I I, mean, I haven't seen him, so I don't know um, I don't know if he's good or not. He scored four points in twenty eight games. 
not super impressive, but again, it's a new country. Could be other factors playing into not performing, um, as well as ice time, of course. I have no idea. All right, that is it for this one, guys. And I hope you enjoy. Have a good one and see you again soon, probably after the Christmas break, after New Year's, most likely. And um, yeah, we'll have a look at the results uh, from here until the end of the year after New Year's and uh, make some sort of analysis for the future of, of the season, for the rest of the season and what will happen. Hopefully we can, we can get some very important wins and uh, uh, make our way up in the standings because it's very quick fall if you lose a few games and it's very quick up if you uh, upwards trajectory if you win a few games so you need to keep keep those streaks rolling all right see you soon bye